Now we are going to perform Benedict's test. Benedict's test is a test for reducing sugar. Uh, I will use also three test tubes. The first test tube is going to be my negative control and I will add in it one ml of distilled water. The second uh, test tube is going to be a positive control and as you know, all monosaccharides are reducing sugars. And for a positive control purpose, I will uh, use glucose, which is a monosaccharide and therefore a reducing sugar, one ml of glucose. And then I will test for you the milk to see if the milk contains uh, reducing sugar or not. If you need to test more test tubes, you just label more test tubes and you do the same procedure. To each of those test tubes with a clean dropper pipette, I will add one ml of Benedict's reagent, which is made of a copper sulfate solution. One ml in each test tube. This reaction, this chemical reaction, as we have discussed in the lecture, requires heat to occur. Therefore, I am going to transfer these three test tubes to the water bath, to 80 degree water bath for, for five minutes. So five minutes in the water bath and we can see the color change. This is Benedict's test, uh, after, uh, negative control of Benedict's test after five minutes in the water bath. The color is still blue, no change in color. The red precipitate can be seen in our uh, positive control test tube. This is the glucose test tube. So it's very obvious the difference between a negative result and a positive result. We take a look at our uh, milk results. There is a change in color. It's definitely not blue. Uh, we see this dark orange color as an indicator of the presence of reducing sugar in the milk. 